What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal's diet has apparently started, but not in the way she would like. She actually started a video today. Been up for about an hour. It's titled, I Have Bed. It's got 2.1 thousand views and 103 likes. I'm not going to go through this the way I have been, simply because it's about a half an hour video, and if you've been here, you've, you've been here. So when... You have water fast day, negative 11. When you have diet day, negative 2. You know, she starts out by saying she has bed. And she has this serious tone. As if, you know, coming out and admitting everything would somehow change it. You know, she says that a diet can't fix the underlying issues. She puts this faux pas emphasis on being made fun of for this. And talks about how she's going to switch her content over to the struggle of eating healthy and utilizing these meals. and She admits, and this is ironic to me, that her purchased meals are not going to work. And instead, you know, wants to focus on someone on TikTok who is also eating Burger King while on a diet. And she discusses at this point in making the video, she's already ate a full day's worth of food aside from one snack they provide her. And it would appear that this is before lunch. And you know, you can already just see the issue here. You know, she's ate all her diet food. We have no idea what her sleep pattern was. We'll get to that in a moment. And she's on TikTok looking at videos with food in it. So from there, she talks about, you know, how she needs a support group and has the audacity to sit there and talk about starting her own. You know, someone that's doxxed how many people is talking about starting an online support group and she wishes she could just eat less and, and heal this. But unlike the other ailments she has, you know, this isn't something she can just heal. And she does realize that, you know, this is a goal. It's complicated. It's, you know, not going to be a few months where she's just going to fix everything. And she kind of hints that because of that, she might not be able to do the traveling. And she indicates that Sala actually paid for the meals. And to me, I think that is actually true. I think... Sala probably said, listen, I'm going to get this back on track. I'm going to be the one that fixes this. Here's these meals. You're going to stick to this. And then when she didn't, she needed the most elaborate, you know, convincing story as to why she can't be successful yet. And that's where this video comes in because she's digging up all this medical paperwork. And she says, you know, this time she's going to be honest and she's going to make this the main focus of her life. And she starts to cry and you know, all of this, understand, is not done to be raw, to be real. This wasn't live, right? This was an edited video. Everything you're seeing is intentionally, we'll get to that in the end, left in. And she sits there and over-dramatizes so much of what we all know. She talks about being tired and defeated and how she spent all this time looking at her medical records. But to be honest, was she looking at what she's been diagnosed with? to try to find solutions, or, or was she just looking for an excuse? So from that point, we cut to the kitchen. It's 9 a.m., so we don't really get the idea of, hey, I just woke up, it's 9 a.m. We get the idea of, hey, I've been up all night, it's 9 a.m. You know, she's going to air fry a breakfast sandwich. And, you know, to be honest, it, it really makes you question, you know, what is the schedule of everything here? You know, did we see her eat all that Burger King the day before? Was this filmed on Friday? That video on Thursday? Is this video from Saturday? Is this all in one morning? You know, to me, that's where the accountability failures already start. We don't know the time frame of any of this. She seems excited about eating a hot cucumber. And after two bites, she jump cuts to noon. And at noon, she's having what was, we believe, to be the dessert of the meal, which was two energy balls. We then jump cut to 2.30. And she's talking about how hungry she is. And she's eating what, you know, I can only assume would be the dinner. It's a salad or rice and chicken. And she shows a can of iced tea. And she starts to talk about, you know, this is where I start to have problems. You know, I'm adding to these meals. Well, at this point, all you're doing is making these meals a waste of time, a waste of money. And honestly, a waste of mental hope that you're going to improve knowing that you're not. She then kind of has this untime stamped, which is odd because everything prior to this was literally apparently between nine and three. So, you know, just a handful of hours eating multiple meals, this untime stamped freak out 
while showing a container of Doritos. And she talks about how proud she is that she was able to create a single serving of Doritos while eating the lunch for dinner. And she continues to prove that, you know, everything must be a three-course meal because to finish this, she adds in a candy bar. After that, so she's eaten all the food, out of sequence, out of order, not really even attempted to deprive herself at all. She shows extremely edited medical records from 2019. She goes over it in depth, and the more she goes over it, the more it feels like just an elaborate excuse beyond anything else. I mean, this is, you know, five or six years old in terms of the medical records, and her inability to treat much of this seems to only have made it worse. And, you know, when you sit there and see this, you know, you're looking at now a diet that her partner paid for that is clearly, if not failed in the process of, you know, she gives this heavy impression that he did this to help her, and she feels guilt not being able to do it, but needed to create this validation. If she had taken all the time, effort, and energy into applying herself to sticking to this diet for a single day, as she did making this 30-minute excuse... I feel like she would have been a lot better off. Instead, you know, she clearly made this whole video constructed to why she was going to eat and needed to eat more and couldn't stick to this. So in reality, she's kind of taking her own time, which she should be helping to get better, and she's using it as justification as to how she won't. And it's interesting that, you know, now all of a sudden she's talking about not being happy and... Salo was supposed to be the fix for all this. Listen, the move to Kuwait, the where's your Hyundai Santa Fe, where's your lumberjack husband, you know, that was supposed to fix all these issues, Chantal. You know, you're waking up in front of the ocean with, you know, the most handsomest man playing in your mind. And and here you are basically come out and saying, listen, I, I'm not happy. I'm going to do this because of that. And it's interesting, as I mentioned, there's audio issues. There's overdubs in this. Why is there overdubbing video or issues in a video that you've pre-recorded? You know, it just shows that you don't care about anything. You weren't concerned about fixing this video. You were concerned about getting this video out. You know, in many ways, you're your own worst enemy. You know, you'll sit here and you'll make this 30-minute documentary about how to fail a diet, but you won't go get inpatient. You'll sit here and you'll push back about everyone in the community trying to give you the resources and help you need and you'll project that you have everything figured out. And then you'll sit there and say, oh, this is the magic day. I'm going to cut everything off. I'm going to love eating these healthy meals when we know that it's hard, even for us, to resist, you know, pizza, burgers, tacos. You know, I want to eat those foods every day, every meal. You know, I have to drive past, unlike Chantal, you know, five or six fast food restaurants every single day. Every one of them is designed from the advertising to the food to the signs to entice you to go in, order the food, eat the food, like the food. It's what you want. Your mind says, yes, this is good, even though it's not. She doesn't have any of those struggles. She literally can sit at home and do whatever she likes, whatever she wants on no one's schedule. And seemingly this is the end result. You know, rather than even following through a couple days of a diet, She would rather sit there and make a third of a movie about why she can't be successful and blame everyone else but herself. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this. You know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.